Hey guys. Um, so recently I got some poison dart frogs at a reptile convention a couple days ago and I've been building a bioactive enclosure for maybe a few weeks now. Anyway, so we got some, their common name is dying poison dart frogs, but technically they're called dendrobate tinctorius. Um, and I also got like the Patricia version. I wouldn't recommend poison dart frogs for beginner reptile keepers or amphibian keepers. They are more of an advanced species. These frogs are not super handleable. You can't really hold poison dart frogs. They're more of display animals. The oils in your skin can irritate. They also require dechlorinated water, distilled water, or any sort of purified water. Any sort of hard metals or chlorine in their water is actually really bad for them. It can kill them pretty quick. My poison dart frogs have a whole rain system that goes off twice a day just to keep everything moist in their enclosure, but not too, like, wet. They also have a humidifier in between in case their humidity drops too low and it needs a little boost. And then also they have little fans as well and they have a strip of mesh in the back so there's some ventilation in the enclosure because I was having problems with humidity being too high and also their temperature was getting a little hot at some periods. They don't have any heat mats or heat lamps at all. Um, they actually have a pretty large LED UVB hood and it sometimes makes the enclosure a little too warm. Other than that, they've been pretty simple to take care of. I have babies, so they have to eat every single day. I feed them flightless fruit flies. I am starting to breed them, um, and that's pretty simple. They need just calcium, multivitamin, dustings as well. But overall, they're super cute, and I'm, I really, really love them. If you're looking to get some poison dart frogs, I got them from a breeder at a reptile convention. You can also get them online, you can get them at pet stores, but please, please do your research if you're gonna get poison dart frogs. You gotta be super, super on top of their heat and humidity. If it get, the humidity gets too low, it can be bad for them. If it's really, really high, it can also not be too good for them either. Um, so you gotta just be really, really mindful of your temperature and humidity with these guys. They're very sensitive, so. But other than that, they're pretty sweet amphibians. They're awesome to watch. They're very beautiful and it's kind of unique saying you have poison dart frogs. They are not poisonous in captivity. They only are in the wild. So basically the things they eat in the wild makes them poisonous. In captivity, they don't eat the same things that they do in the wild. So you don't need like a special license for them or anything like that. You can easily get them. Keep that in mind when you get them. There's also beginner poison dart frog species and more advanced. The more rare or hard to get poison dart frogs are going to be more difficult to keep. Um, if you are going to get like a tink, like I did, if you get a few, there's a chance they could kill each other or beat each other up. So I took the chance, I got babies, so hopefully they get along, but if they don't, they would need to be separated. Yeah, there are some poison dart frogs that are super, super loud. That's another thing to keep in mind. And there are some that are not super loud. Um, anyway, this is just the enclosure. I guess you can see the frogs. They're super cool and enjoy. Okay, friends, here are the enclosures. Yeah, looks a bit different now. This is the blue tongue enclosure now. It's got a lot of growth going on. And she's kind of hiding in the back corner. Here's the poison dart frogs. And I gotta feed them, so we'll do that in a sec. Thank you. 
So I apologize for the terrible lighting, but um, this is a fruit fly culture. Um, this is what I feed them, and I'm also making more. So, so what I'm gonna do is transfer these into another cup so I can feed the frogs. So here we go, we got our fruit flies. They're in the cup, they're flightless so they can't fly. Tuesday, so today is a multivitamin day. So we're going to grab the multivitamins I'll be using for today. Got these at the reptile convention, wanted to give it a try. And we are going to do a tiny sprinkle. Like I'm talking tiny. And then we're gonna shake them around a bit. And then we go ahead and feed our frogs. So they're all kind of hiding in the back corner. So I'm gonna try and lure them out a bit. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I gotta go feed some animals, reptiles right now actually, so.